Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to apply to the Mastercard scholarship in some of its partner schools. This video will focus on these partner schools: Saint Paul, McGowan University, University of Edinburgh, Arizona State University, and University of British Columbia. We will do it step by step. Talk about the schools. In the end, you will choose which school to apply for your Mastercard scholarship or you can apply for all the schools. Stay tuned. Great, let's begin. So, this is the official website of the Mastercard Foundation. You scroll down from here check you see this is secondary education this is for the undergrad and then this is for the master studies so for the purpose of this video we will focus on the master studies and as stated earlier we will focus on some few schools so we will start with science school great so this is the official website of Science Po and then um, Science Po is in France. It's regarded as one of the most prestigious institutions of higher learning. A reputation is supported among the international community. You know, Science Po is a research university in the social sciences, internationally recognized from the quality of scientific output, developed with a strong focus on society. Research conducted at Science Po enriches public debate. I must also state that it is ranked the third in the world in the field of political science and international relations. So yeah, Science Po is a good school to apply for your masters. So we will go through the scholarships at Science Po and for the purpose of this video, we will focus only on the Mastercard scholarship. However, Science Po has many scholarships and then this group into this so we will check the non-european student scholarship so the first one is the emma putmi scholarship and then the mastercard foundation scholarship so our focus would be on the mastercard foundation scholarship however the emma putmi scholarship is also for non-european students and it is based on your academic excellence so yeah let's begin with the mastercard foundation scholarship okay so before we before we apply to the mastercard foundation scholarship we should know the deadline at least and this applies to every scholarship applying make sure you know the deadline so the deadline for the mastercard foundation scholarship at science Po is before november 25th and then for your master particularly is before December 6th. Note that your class application is different from applying to the master course at Science Po. So we check the graduate candidate and try and find out the requirements for the graduate studies. You should know that most of the master's program are taught in English so it does not require any prior knowledge of French so you shouldn't be bothered about the language barrier you should also know that the Mastercard Foundation is in partnership with institutions and you should check your home country to find out whether it's a partner or not to find this you can look through this list and then you need to get a recommendation from your school and you attach that recommendation to your Mastercard application, a scratch application portal before you become eligible. As it states here, candidates who are currently studying in an institution which is not listed as a partner should encourage their institution to contact us by email. So you should note this. So if in case you don't find your name, your school's name on the list, don't be worried about it at all. Alright, so we can proceed to the scholarship award and then you should know that it's 
18 full scholarships which are offered and then um, the competition is very very competitive you should also know that admission to science school getting any of these courses does not guarantee a scholarship award so you know so a case where you defer your entry to science school at that particular year the mastercard foundation scholarship will be lost all right so enough of this let's begin the application all right so click on the apply for the scholarship this is how the portal looks like the portal will give you a brief intro of everything and then it will tell you the steps you need to provide as stated earlier you need to provide a letter of recommendation from an institution for your support in the application through mastercard foundation scholar program and you should please know that only mastercard foundation scholars from partner institutions can apply to the science school summer school all right so eligible candidates will receive email that can apply online to the program of their choice without having to pay the application fee eligibility for the mastercard foundation scholars program does not guarantee admissions to science school because this entails a separate application as I stated earlier in the video all right so you need to register after registering you'll get um, an email notification after confirming then you just log in so since I'm done with the registration I will just log in for you to see how the portal looks like all right so let's log in okay so the application is done and then um, the download details will contain exactly what is in the application portal so you do not need to worry so we will scroll down to the access I wanted to show you guys that the focus will be on is on five main essays the rest are personal information that I believe you would all get alright so the essays start from the page 7 the first one is what challenges have you faced in your access to education and how have you overcome some of these challenges you should know that the word limit is 250 words so you should not exceed it describe one of your most recent significant extracurricular activities and our community involvement describe previously held leadership activities or experiences that it positions where you've guided or led a group of people a project or a course you know according to you what is one of the major challenges currently faced by your home country and on the African continent, for example, access to education or health, governance, environmental issues? And the last essay will focus on the challenges that matters to you in particular and how you would like to contribute to addressing it. This is where you upload your financial situation, and then it should be um, one of the following certificates as listed. And in case your name does not appear on a document please upload a document attesting to your relationship with a person whose financial situation is described that is the best certificate adoption certificate or anything also should you have none of that above documents we recommend you turn to your university or institution if you have if you are currently a scholarship recipient or a local regional or national authority which could attest to your financial needs your parents informal employment or unemployment provide a non taxation certificate due to low income or any such document. Please note that the bank statement are not accepted as proof of your financial situation, so that will correct my earlier stated um, info. 
bank statements are not accepted as a proof of your financial situation. Okay. Okay, so that is how you do the MasterCard scholarship. And then, in case you need any help, you should uh, check the description below. Contact details are available. You can contact us for any information you need. Okay, so we will go to the next school. So, this will be the end for the scholarship walkthrough. And please, do not pay for the application fee of your master course because it will not refund it to you if you do that. You wait, you get eligible for the master course scholarship. And then your application fee will be waived off for you to proceed. Okay, so our next university is Miguel University, one of the most prestigious universities in Canada. So we click on the site to go to the official site of Miguel University. Don't worry about the links, I will put the links in the description. So make sure you check the description below. So we apply to the program. We look through the step-by-step -step application process. So with this, you have to check the eligible programs for MasterCard. But before that, we have to also know that you will need your transcript, your CV, and then your personal statement. Unlike Science Pro with Miguel University, you need to be nominated by the department that you are applying to. So before we continue with the steps, let's check the eligible programs you have to apply to. Okay, so there's a list of the programs available and they are all non teases So those who want to apply to teases programs, this will be the right courses for you. So the programs below are the ineligible master programs too. And then there is no funding from MasterCard. So yes, these are the programs. Now let's go back to check the steps. So once nominated by the department, the applicant must wait until they have been nominated before creating an account in order for the application to be considered for the MasterCard scholarship. So please note that being nominated does not guarantee admission to Miguel University. And once nominated, the department will send your nomination form to the MasterCard Foundation. Then you will be issued a fee waiver. You will be able to now complete your application in which you apply. Also, you should know that you have to request for a referee to complete the MasterCard recommendation form and return the complete form by email to the email address seen here. So once all of the requested documents have been received, the department will review the application and if the applicant is admitted to the program of study, then the MasterCard application is pre-screened. So if you are selected at the pre-screen stage, that is when the application moves to the MasterCard selection committee for a review. You should also know that if you are not admitted to the program of your choice, then you are no longer eligible for the scholarship. So this will be the end for the Miguel scholarship step-by-step -step application process. And as I said, it's quite different from the assigned book. And then we can look here to check the eligible countries if you want to know you are in one of it so yes so we have all these countries yeah
try so let's go to the next school so yes university of edinburgh is the sixth oldest university in the english speaking world it's ranked as one of the best universities in the world for arts and humanities but also for law and psychology so this is the official website of University of Edinburgh as I said each university's official website will be in the description link so we'll go through the eligibility again but before that you must be a resident and citizen of sub-Saharan African country whose personal circumstance would make acceptance an offer from the University of Edinburgh difficult. Applications from Malawi, Nigeria, Rwanda, Tanzania and Zimbabwe are particularly welcome. If your country is not in this list, but you are a citizen of a sub-Saharan African country, you can still apply. You must note that you should demonstrate a track record of leadership and service within your community and you should be able to also present economically disadvantaged circumstances and be able to show that you lack financial means from family or other source to pursue post-secondary education in your home country or elsewhere so let's begin the application Yeah. We select postgraduate. Choose on campus. So you should know that 21 classes are available for the 2021 academic year. And this will cover your full tuition fees and expense for accommodation and maintenance. These are the postgraduate programs for the scholarship world uh, cover. You should also note that the application for the 2021 entry are open now and it will close on October 30th at 2 p.m. UK time as stated here the Mastercard Foundation for University of Edinburgh is particularly interested to consider applications from individuals who have faced barriers to education through disability or false migration These are the eligibility criteria. Alright, so let's begin the application. So just like uh, Science Pro, the MasterCard also used this application portal. So if you are new, you have to register by Science with my registration now just log in and then I begin the whole process so yes let's start so before you start you have to confirm some questions here I confirm that you have a track record and leadership Confirming that you understand that it's a fully funded academic and transformative leadership program. Confirming that you'll be enrolled not in another university at this time of your studies, and also confirming that all of the above statements are true to the best of your knowledge. As of the time you are completing the application, 
so you mark this as complete or you save and then you continue editing so let's just mark this as complete all right so we are done here now we can go back to the application again good so after we come back to the application you check the status of your application and then you'll see here as, as it is written not eligible for the Mastercard Foundation Scholarship in the University of Edinburgh if you see this it simply means that the postgraduate applicant declaration you take one of these no and then let's just scroll through and find out which one I take no good here's the one I confirm I have a track record of leadership and service within my community that was no and if you have no track record of leadership and service within your community then you cannot apply to this scholarship Okay, so if declared as ineligible for the scholarship, you have to go back and then make sure that you do your assignment as well and make sure that when you come back, you will be able to tick all the questions, yes, and then it should be true. So now we can start the application. As you can see here, it says that the eligibility assessment complete so I'm now qualified to apply so we can start so in here we take all yes because now we can show it take yes since we fulfilled all the obligation is needed so check again to see if everything is okay and then move on type something inside and then see what we have for the other tasks ahead okay so we're done with the personal details we can now fill the next uh, stage which is what I'm doing now so we select the course that we want to apply to alright so once we are done we submit it for this stage So you can see here written as stage two and then stage two says that is the main application. So we start with the main application. This is where we 
fill out the application form yourself you upload all your supporting documents and then your equal opportunities form so let's start with the filling of the application form first this is where we input you input your details and everything that you need, you need to know so here you have to provide an additional information to demonstrate your financial need of the scholarship and it says here provide more information if there is this is where you input your reference details and then there is are the essays that you write for the mastercard scholarship for University of Edinburgh somehow similar to the science for one so the first one is reflecting on your life so far tell us how you need the key selection criteria for this college program you should include information on your academic achievements and barriers to education you have faced so this is 250 words like I said like just like the science for one we want to learn about your track record as a transformative leader tell us about one current idea or project you are working on which clearly demonstrates this and then we aim to award mastercard foundation scholarships to individuals who benefit most from the opportunity how would being a mastercard foundation scholar at edinburgh support your development we want to ensure your time at university of edinburgh benefits others in the future tell us how your choice of degree program will assist you to make the change you emphasize the Mastercard Foundation is creating a growing network across the world with who will you prioritize your engagement and how will they help you once you return home. So these are the essays that you should ponder on before you start your application process. And once you are done with this, you submit it. Then you go to your supporting documents. If you have any certificates, your transcripts, your statement of results, your attestation letters, you upload it at this stage. Then the equal opportunities form. There'll be some information needed from you here. You just have to tick based on the information available if it is you so your gender your gender identity your ethnicity your religion your, your sexual orientation and then yeah you just mark it as completed so yes there is a walkthrough for the mastercard foundation scholarship program at university of Edinburgh. so one shot and this process you are done for Okay, so the next university, University of British Columbia, is one of the most prestigious universities in Canada. Okay, so we apply as yeah, graduate students with the UBC Mastercard Foundation Scholarship. The eligibility and selection criteria is quite similar as of all the universities we talked about today. Its application is mostly similar to uh, University of Edinburgh as well, where the application to the Mastercard scholarship is done. With the Mastercard scholarship, and once you are completed with them and then you're eligible, you can now apply to the school. So the Mastercard Foundation Scholarship and then the application for the course is separated. Wait, so you have to have these um, criteria. You have to have a bachelor degree. You have to be 35 years old or younger. You have to be a citizen of a refugee or in, in the sub-Saharan African country so these are the courses available so you would need to fill the 
eligibility form which is mostly attached at the end of this uh, page but it looks like it is not there so don't worry you just have to email this address and then ask for the eligibility form for your desired application So yes, this is a limited form for some of these courses like the um, land and food systems. So this, this is how it looks like for land and food systems. So once you're done, you just sign and then you send it. However with some of the courses this is not how it looks like so the three courses here you have to do it this way and then you submit it and once you qualify MasterCard will send you a notification to apply to the course of your choice in the list so yes, these are the courses that you have to apply to. So after filling the eligibility form, if you qualify for the MasterCard scholarship, they will give you a go ahead to apply to the program you want to apply and then your application fee will be waived. You have to also know that these are the essays that you would be required to write. And the first one is telling us a story, you know, what is of importance to you and, and what reflects who you truly are. You have to describe a recent and meaningful involvement in your community, including what your role was in that particular event. So, you see, if you look through, you find out that each and every school is demanding the track record of leadership, you know, and involvement in your community too. So, it should be what I will update is that if you are applying to the Mastercard scholarship, you should have all these criteria at hand for your scholarship to be granted to you. So you also talk about why you are interested in studying at UBC and how you envision your chosen program of study at UBC helping you to reach your long-term career and personal goals and what drives you to achieve your goals. You know, saying that persistence is crucial to the completion of your program, you will be asked to describe a situation where you had to overcome a significant obstacle. How did you react and what did you learn from the situation? And lastly, you will be given the opportunity to describe how this scholarship will help you due to your financial condition. You have to submit your CV or resume and you have to provide two references. You should know that it should all be on official letterhead. You have to attach your transcripts. And then one important thing you should know after you are done with the checklist which is which includes the eligibility form the personal statement the cv the two reference letters and your official or on your official letterhead your transcript and the signing should all be in one pdf document should all be in one pdf document i know that all these documents will be separated so let's find software where you could merge all these documents into one single pdf document otherwise your application will be rejected once it is done you email it to the app the address in here and once you qualify 
you'll be sent a notification as I said earlier and then you will be now given the choice to apply to your investors um, sorry apply to the program that you want to apply with your application fee waived off so it's as simple as that let's go to the next group and then that will be the last group as Arizona State University okay so the last school will be Arizona State University Arizona State University is one of the best universities in the United States of America Unfortunately, with Arizona State University, they are not offering any scholarship through the Mastercard Scholarship Program for this particular year. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you apply to at least two or three schools. I wish you all the best. Put in all your best and I usually succeed in this scholarship application. Subscribe to the channel for more scholarship updates. Thank you very much.